Good afternoon. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2019. I'm Paige DeBleek. Nitro, the broadcasting dog, has tips for betting on the NCAA tournament. And I'm Parker Johnson. An asteroid exploded above the Bering Sea with 10 times the force of the Hiroshima bomb. The news is next. Newton-led study group during enrichment on Tuesdays leading up to the SAT. The group will meet in A220. Ms. Pixler and Ms. Adcock will be available to answer questions about ELA and math. Are you interested in the future of the human race? How about the human rights? Would you like to learn and debate global politics? Columbia's starting model uni United uh, Nations Club we will hold information meetings on Thursday, April 8th to put a team together. Please ask Ms. Davis in A130 or Brendan Watkins with questions. Seniors consider applying for the Columbia Wildcat Boosters Scholarship. Applications are in front office and are due on April 1st. Questions see Mr. Stoppenhagen in A233. Seniors, you have a favorite baby picture you want in the graduation slide show? Then you need to get a copy turned in. You could either bring it to the front desk, make sure to put your name or your ID number on the back so we can return it, or email a copy to wildcatseniorpics at gmail.com. Pictures need to be in by April 9th. It's time to help out our furry friends. Donate dog and cat supplies for use at the West Valley Humane Society. Drop off all donations in Mrs. Davis's room, A131. STEM Academy is hosting a sock drive. The, there are bins around the school where you could donate new or gently used socks. This is Sock Week, and Tuesday is, theme, is Fuzzy Socks, Wednesday Colorful and Crazy, and Thursday Mix and Match. Any questions, ask Ms. Davis in the STEM hallway. Today's activities, men's golf at River Birch, women's golf at Ridgecrest, varsity tennis versus Fruitland at home. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make yours a great one. See Dr. Keller today. Today we have a high of 61 and a low of 30. And tomorrow we'll have a high of 64 and a low of 38. Back to you. The 2019 NCAA tournament bracket is officially out. Hundreds of millions of dollars are being wagered and potentially billions of work hours are going to be lost watching the college basketball championship for the first time since 2009. One conference received three one seeds to the NCAA tournament. Not only did ACC teams, Duke, Virginia, and North Carolina all get placed on a region's top line, there were also the top three teams in the field. Natural, the betting broadcasting dog, says she's be careful with Gonzaga. They lost their conference championship, just saying. A huge fireball exploded in the Earth's atmosphere in December, according to NASA. The blast was the second largest of its kind in 30 years and the biggest since the fireball over Chelyabinsk in Russia six, six years ago, but it was largely unnoticed until now because it blew over the Bering Sea off Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. The space rock exploded with 10 times the energy released by Hiroshima atomic bomb. Lindley Johnson, planetary defense officer at NASA, told BBC News a fireball this big is only expected about two or three times every 100 years. The SAT word of the day is brazen, which means bold, shameless. You could use it like this. James cutting in the line was so brazen that the lunch ladies eventually refused to serve him. That's the news. Thanks for watching, and remember, live, live the, the Wildcat wild way. way.